Welcome back, y'all. Today we're going to be doing soil testing. Uh, a lot of people said that by using straw in my beds as one of the layers, I would have a lot of grass. And after six weeks, this is all I have to deal with. So overall, pretty impressed. Thought it would be a lot worse. Um, it's all easy stuff to pick out. But I also use peat moss in my layers. And a lot of people um, are concerned saying that that is going to be way too acidic for my beds. So I thought we would just do a good old fashioned soil sample. I got a standard soil testing kit at my local Lowe's. Now this test is capable of testing pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. However, today we're only testing pH. So we're going to be putting the dirt samples in all four tubes, but using the exact same reactant. We're only testing for one thing right now, but I do want to test the surface a couple inches down, a couple inches below that, and then the very bottom since we did do layers. So we're going to start here, just put a little soil on there just up to the very first line. You can see there's four lines on there. Dig down a little bit. I don't have anything planted in this area, so this was perfect. All right, so it was nice and warm. Look at that, it's starting to kind of breathe up the glass there. go a little deeper until we start to see some of that peat. Oh yeah, you can tell that's peat just by how fluffy it is. I'm actually going to have to take some of that out. Alright, and then go down past the peat and the straw to the very bottom layer. All right, add our reactant. We're going to add distilled water to each one, up to that top fourth line. Now what we don't want is for these samples to turn red. If they turn orange or red or anything of that nature, that means that we're way too acidic and we'll have to amend our soil. But I think that with the amount of peat that we used and the fact that we mixed it with other substrates, I think we're going to turn out okay. We're just going to take all four of them. And let them settle. As they begin to settle, you'll see color developing at the very top of the tube. Looks like this one's going first. Got a nice green color there. Green is good. This one's starting to pull a little bit of an orange color. That's going to be our peat moss at work. So that is actually looking really good. I'm going to put this in here so you all can kind of see for yourself where we're at. So the potatoes and carrots that we have planted in here actually pre prefer a little bit of a more neutral soil, but with us having just that slightly, slightly acidic right there in the middle is going to kind of help with just how alkaline this top layer of soil is. So this rainbow is really quite perfect because we can distinctly see each layer of the garden and none of them are highly acidic and none of them are too alkaline. They're actually perfect. This makes me very happy because all of our beds were put together the same way with the same layers. We did add a lot of that stuff over here. Um, the only thing missing is straw, but we did use topsoil um, with a little bit of miracle Grow compound in it and then also the peat moss. 
So that's all in here, all churned up. Um, we have corn planted, that hasn't come up yet, and over here we have some squash, we'll cover that in the next video. Um, but overall, I think that was a fantastic buy. For $15 at Lowe's, you can test up to 40 times. Um, so if you make a mistake the first time around or you're not sure if you did it right, you can test it several more times and make sure that your results are not only accurate but consistent. Um, so glad I did that. I was a little bit nervous. Everyone was telling me that my beds were going to be way too acidic, but they're just right. So I'm very relieved. I'm very happy. Thank you guys for joining us, and we're going to get to transplanting.